Yes, hi, very good evening to all of you. Today we are going to discuss a bar chart and it shows the number of seals, whales and dolphins recorded in the Gormus Straits from 2006 to 2018. So this is what you can say, the population of seal, whale and dolphin populations in that particular strait. So we can see four particular years and four distinct years you have, 2006, 2010, 2014, and 2018, you have a four year interval in between, three, four year intervals, one, two, three, four year intervals. They went with the statistics of these three uh, aquatic animals, and they have uh, calculated the numbers of this particular animal. So let's see uh, what the numbers shows. You can see this is the seal number. It went down and then it went up. You can see the dolphins number going up constantly. You can see some fluctuations in the number of whales between the years. So this is what the total story is. So based on this particular data, I have to frame uh, a task, uh, one response, that is a report on this particular picture, um, an objective report on uh, this particular picture without giving assumptions. So I am not going to give any assumptions. I am just going to say what it is. As it is, I'm going to present a report to a reader to an educated reader in a formal style. So this has to be written in uh, not less than 150 words. I have to summarize the data and make comparisons wherever relevant. This is what we have to do here. Now, let's see what we have to do in the introduction. In the introduction of this particular uh, a picture that is a bar diagram. I have to say what is the picture and what is it about? So what is the picture? It's a bar graph. What is it about? The population statistics of three different sea mammals, three different sea mammals, where in the Goma Straits. Uh, I think it's in Goma Strait. Strait between 2006 and 2018 as portrayed in the given bar graph. So all the things are there in this particular, so let me see whether it is Goma Strait. It's Goma Straits, okay, it's a Straits. Okay, it's my problem, sorry. So I have uh, to correct this area. Now, what is the complete picture? Overall, it is clear that the population of all these aquatic animals increased between the years, despite some mild fluctuations in between. So you can see in total, if you see in total, you can see the population of all these aquatic animals increased between the years. We can say between these two years, you can see the population of seals increasing can see the population of whales increasing, can see the population of dolphins increasing. So you can see an increase from 2006 to 2018, despite some mild fluctuations in between. We have some mild fluctuations in between, and that's not um, wide fluctuations, it's some mild fluctuations, not, not that much fluctuated between the two years you can say the whole picture is clear now i have to move forward so we divided into two time frames here so i can write in different i can group this data in different ways so um now i can say that um in three particular areas so what what i, I can do is that i can say what happened with seals i can say what happened with the uh, whales the third paragraph, I can say what happened with dolphins. Completely fine. 
But right now, I am going to divide it into two time frames. That is time frame number one and time frame number two. And from this time frame number up to this. So I'm going to uh, compare the data uh, based on these two time frames. So this is my classification. So I see something there. And uh, this is my idea. So uh, you can do in a different way. I told you that you can compare, you can say seal population. What happened to the seal population between the years? What happened to the whale population between the years? And then third, what happened to the dolphin population between the years? You can say that way too. So uh, if I go with this thing, I feel that there's a better comparison. So because I focus on the time frame there, I don't need to say the years again and again. So I prefer to do the second way. Now, let's see what happens there. And as seen in the chart in 2006, the most populated uh, in the straight, most populated in the straight was seals. Okay. So you can see the most populated sea animal in the straits was seals. So you can see it, so it was uh, from this peak of 43 numbers, okay. Mm. The number fell surprisingly. So from this peak number of 43, The number fell, okay. Uh, it's population fell surprisingly to almost 25 in 2010. So you can say from uh, 43 to 25. However, between these two years, the population of whales and dolphins lost, saw a slight climb when the former's number, that is the whales number, went up 23 to 26. The latest number, it was from 72 to 22. We can see that. Now, when both the seal and dolphin populations swell consistently, from 2010 to 2018, the growth of whale population was erratic between the years. So you can see that uh, you can see that it was uh, there was the, sorry uh, there was a consistent growth here for this blue and green line, but here there was a growth, but it was erratic. There was a growth, but it was erratic. This is what they have said. During this eight year period, you can see it's eight year period from 10 to 18. The number of seals went up from 25 to 44. It's 25 to 44, yes. The volume of dolphins grew more sharply to around 52. So it should, it's gone up to 52. So you have said it before, what was the dolphin population? It was 22 here. You have said already it was 22 in 2010. So you don't need to say it further. In 2018, the total number of whales in the Goma Straits was 28, which was just six more than in 2014. So it was 28, just six more than in 2014. Okay, so that's the thing here. So we have compared this thing. Thank you.